Hey guys, sorry about the morning voice. I'm going to try not to make it sound like I'm the only one in the house awake and trying not to wake anyone up because I am in a separate room. Um, today's video is about weekends and about how I've sort of been thinking through them. So it is a planning -ish sort of lifestyle video. So just because uh, it's a VO and you see me doing weird chores, that's uh, just because that's the footage I have and I'm doing things a little bit differently to get this video out on time. So um, I sort of recently, uh, I guess last year, before I got pregnant, before everything sort of fell apart in my life due to just health stuff uh, for the last couple months, so later last year in like November, December, I was starting to try to really focus on productivity during the work week and then basically leaving my weekends completely free. And I thought that this was something that was brilliant for me, um, that it was a really cool idea and that it left my weekends free to focus on my family um, and to not stress about the other things that were like productivity based in my life. And there's something to that. It could be something that you might want to, you know, to try. But I guess today is sort of my cautionary tale to myself about why it was didn't end up being a good idea for me, at least not for the long term. So this all kind of started uh, when I discovered it was thanks to actually a link from or at least a mention from somebody in I believe the minimalist planner. Uh, Facebook group or the Minimalist Bujo Facebook group or, or maybe the Bullet Journal in Miniature. One of those two. Um, anyway, someone mentioned Tom, the organized mum method. And I don't hear it mentioned a lot. Uh, I think part of the reason, and it's kind of weird, is that it's like, it's internet based, but yet it is very British. <laughs> Um, at least like the Facebook community, because I'm, I'm part of the Facebook page and so, or the Facebook group for it also. And like everybody there is British and it seems like it kind of travels by word of mouth in the UK community. And then those of us who are not from there basically just get a lot of posts about products available in the UK, terminology in the UK, and it's kind of hilarious. Anyway, the point of the Team Tom approach and the reason that I wanted to try it. Basically what it is, it's a home cleaning methodology. It's similar to Fly Lady in that that's like what it is, is you're committing to sort of a schedule. Um, and the way it works is you spend 15 minutes doing level one tasks every day. Um, and those include like a wipe down of the bathroom and, um, you know, making the bed basic stuff like that. And then you spend 15 minutes focusing on one room per day, Monday through Friday. So that would be, I think Monday's uh, the living room, Tuesday's the bedroom, and you can reorganize it to suit your own life, which I did do. Um, and I like the theory behind it. Um, I like the idea of doing just stuff during the week and then having your weekends free. The idea of, you know, this was to not have to clean on the weekends. And in theory, that sounds amazing, right? Because generally the weekend is like when you're cleaning. Um, I think it might work especially well for stay at home moms. Um, but I'm a, I'm a full-time working mom. Um, and I was trying to make this fit into my life, and it never did in a consistent way. Uh, I have about 45 minutes in the mornings between when my husband leaves to drop our toddler off at the babysitter and when I have to leave for work. And then um, like two days a week, I have a little bit of time after I get home, but before I have to pick her up. But the other three days a week, I go straight from work to pick her up. So there's not a lot of time where I don't have a toddler running around. Um, she lately in the last couple of weeks has become better about playing independently while I'm doing things and kind of letting me get a couple chores done. Um, but back in like November, December, when I was focusing on this, she wasn't, she really needed my attention. If she was playing, she needed me to be down on the floor with her, at least watching. Um, and so it was hard to find that time to focus on getting stuff done in the morning. Um, I was like, okay, yeah, great. 15 minutes I can do. 
Um, and so I was dedicating a chunk of my morning to that. Couple problems with that, like, I was able to force myself to make that happen for a week or two in a row, and the house felt clean, and I was really happy, um, and that was fine. But, like, that was really dependent on me maintaining a consistent level of motivation, and that can't last. <laughs> I don't know, maybe there's a way to maintain that kind of motivation, but it wasn't, it wasn't working. I wasn't finding it. Um, and then of course, like the health stuff hit and first trimester, like I was able to continue getting up early, uh, to work on channel stuff in the mornings. But then even two hours later, by the time it was time to start cleaning, uh, all I wanted to do was just sit in bed and it took, oh, and it was freezing cold cause it was winter and it was, took everything in me to force myself to get dressed. So, you know, it all it all definitely fell down in December and January, which is not surprising at this point. Before that happened is actually when I filmed these clips that you're watching. Um, it was like the first week of January and I'm like, great, I'm really loving this system. It's going to work well um, for me. You know, it's working well so far. It's going to keep going well. I think I should tell people about it. And so I'm going to film myself cleaning every day of the week for five days um, and you'll get to see how it works. So day one worked well, day two was working well, but I was starting to feel a little bit sick. Coincidentally, that morning was when I took my pregnancy test. Um, but I was starting to feel a little bit of a tickle and I was like, oh great, okay, let's clean anyway, because I feel like I can. And then suddenly it just, no, I was just feeling too crummy the next morning to do it. And I was like, okay, fine, maybe next week, I'll pick up again next Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday comes around, I'm just like, I can't. The week end up the week after that next Wednesday. Uh, no, uh, maybe next Wednesday. Maybe when I feel better, and then I just by the time I did feel better, because I do now feel a lot better. By the time I felt better, I didn't feel like I wanted to go back to Tom. Um, that I feel like it's just not where I need to be right now. Um, maybe if I someday am able to stay at home with my kids, then it will be something I can try again. Um, in the meantime, I'm, I am interested in looking into Fly Lady. I know a lot of people love it. My mom used it for years. Uh, lately, uh, Annie Smith has been talking about it a little bit when she does her planner flip throughs and stuff. And I know she swears by it. Um, so I know that it has good results. And so I think I'm going to check into that because the idea of it is like you have a focus, not just for the day, but for the week. And so if you don't get something done one day, you can work on it the next day or push it to the weekend and do it on the weekend. With Tom, it's like, okay, you skip Monday, but they just say, okay, if you don't get to Monday, just do it next week. Well, that never comes. And there's certain days of the week that are worse than others, um, I didn't do like a little bit of bathroom every day. I did all the bathroom cleaning on one day because I don't have a entrance hall because I don't, I don't know, I'm not royalty. Um, and so I took that day, I made it bathroom day, but that was always one day that I felt particularly unmotivated. Um, the day I felt more motivated was Monday, which is the living room, which was never that bad. And then on bathroom day, I never felt like I could do anything. And so my bathroom started looking terrible. So... It just, it wasn't where I needed to be. And okay, so speaking of weekends, um, it's, yeah, I, I had a few weekends there where I had loaded everything for my channel to the weekdays. I'd loaded all of the house cleaning tasks to the weekdays, all the laundry. Um, and then the weekend comes around and some weekends are super busy, obviously, and that's why you want to keep your weekends free. Some weekends are not. Um, and we've been blessed with several unscheduled weekends lately, which we love because that means we get to work on the house stuff. And my husband always has so many projects going on. He has a long commute. So really the weekends are his only time to work on a lot of those projects. So if he has plans on a weekend, it just kind of means, I guess this week, I'm not doing any of the things that I want to be doing around the house or in the garage. Uh, so he's doing stuff on the weekends. Maybe if he also was like, had a way 
to front load all of his things so that he wasn't working on the weekends, then it would be different and we could spend our weekends doing something together outside the house as a family or something. But that's not the way it is. He's going to be working on the weekends. And so I need to find something to do to occupy my time (laughs) during the weekends. Um, And a lot of times I did find myself going, well, okay, yeah, I can spend some of this time doing some cleaning. Um, and when I wasn't getting those bathrooms clean during the week, I was like, okay, I'm going to do it on Saturday. And then I felt so much better about myself after I had a clean bathroom. So yeah, basically this is about why I, I clean the house on the weekends. It's radical, right? Um, I, I have found that I really just, yeah, I, I, I liked the idea of not having things scheduled to work on over the weekend. But in practice, I just got bored. Um, And I I do like a checklist on the weekend. You know, nothing overblown. But like last weekend was great for me. Um, The dog needed his shots. And so my husband took our daughter with him to go to the vet, leaving me at home for a couple hours to like really knock out a lot of things that had gotten backed up and cluttered and dirty and since my I wasn't feeling well. Um, and then he also got sick. So the weekend before we had both been knocked out. So this last weekend, I was able to like pick the house back up to a level where I started to feel just a lot more human. So uh, I guess, I guess it was just a ramble. Um, I guess I would like to know in the comments what kind of cleaning methodologies and systems you use. Do you just sort of clean what looks dirty and get on with it? Or do you use something like Fly Lady or Team Tom and um, try to like organize it in your planner or, or what do you do? Let me know what works for you and what you think might work for me based on my neurotic ranting. Uh, <laughs> Next video on Thursday is going to be my weekly plan with me. So stay tuned for that. Looking forward to that. Um, Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. There's a bell. There's a like button. There's all kinds of cool YouTube features you can check out. Go see what they do. That down down thumb, that, that doesn't do anything. Just ignore that one. I will see you guys in the next video. Love you. Bye.